Okay, so let's have a look at question five from the Loops One Practical. Um, so this question's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people's initial thoughts is that they have to use some arcs for this when actually you're just drawing a lot of lines. Um, so to achieve this here, um, we just need a loop that has four lines um, and one for each one of these patterns. So what we're going to do is look one by one at each corner, starting with this one here, um, and then do each of the corners. Um, so we'll start with this one here. First, I'll show you what the pattern actually is, um, because it's a bit hard to see with this diagram here. It just looks like a bit of a um, an arc. But what's actually happening is, um, so for this corner here, you're drawing a line from here to here. Um, then you're going a little bit further down on the y-axis for this point here and on the point down the bottom you're going a little bit further on the x-axis so you're drawing a point from here to here then we go down on the y-axis across on the x here to here here to here um, and so on so if you keep drawing these lines here um, and you can already hopefully start to see that I haven't drawn them very evenly but it starts to create that cool pattern there so uh, to work this one out what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, some code for the first three or four lines and once we've done that we can start to pick up a pattern and then design a loop that will help us achieve that pattern so um, I've just done a screen 800 by 800 I think the question didn't see how big it was that's okay um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with some fake um, coordinates along along the line I might do it uh, let's say every 20 pixels so 20 40 60 80 so that obviously is not to scale um, but you get the idea 20 60 40 80 like that okay so um, let's go line by line and write some some code. So our first line here we want to be drawing a point from here to here so if we look at this point here that's at 0 on the x-axis and 20 on the y um, and its corresponding point it's going down here um, so we've shifted a little bit over on the x-axis so let's just keep it even let's say it's 20 on the x-axis and the point for the Y is the full height. So we can say 800 or we can just say height. I'm going to say, I might even just say H to make life a bit easier. Um, okay, let's have a look at the second line. Um, so the second line here is a little bit lower and a little bit more across. So we have a look at this point here that's at X equals 0 um, and Y equals 40. And then it's corresponding point oh what did I do here <laughs> I mixed up my 40 and my 60 um, you get the idea so this point here uh, will be 40 on the x-axis and the full height um, and then I'll do just one more line So um, now what I want to do is have a look at what's similar, what's different um, in each line and then for the things that are different come up with a pattern. So one similarity for each of these lines is that the first x coordinate is always 0 um, and the last y coordinate is always the height. So when we have our line um, those two will always be the same and then for all the other coordinates they're the same in each line and they're increasing by 20 each time. So um, we could just have a test. Um, we don't have to get the correct code straight away. We could just play around with it and see the effect. Um, so what if I created a loop that started at 20, um, increased by 20 each time, which is what these coordinates are doing, and kept on doing that until we got to um, 780. Must be less than, we'll say 800. Um, 
my plus plus. Oh no, not plus plus, we want a plus 20 each time. We want to draw a line. Um, so the first coordinate's always zero. We're gonna say that our I represents our um, X and Y coordinates for each line. And then the last one is the full height. Um, so let's have a look at this test code, see how it goes. And there we go. That looks pretty cool to me. Um, I'm happy with doing it every 20. Uh, we could adjust that as well if we wanted, if we wanted um, every 40, a bit more spaced out. Um, it's up to you what you do here. Um, I might make it more scalable. Um, does it start in the corner? Yeah, okay, so maybe I'll start at zero. I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to go until I get to, well, we'll say that the width and height have to be the same, so I'm just going to write width. Um, and I'm going to do it every, if we do it every 20, then it would be, we want a plus width divided by 40. Some bad maths going on today. No, okay, good maths today. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so now we've got that corner there. Um, now we want to do the same thing with each of our other corners like that. Okay, so if we do this top left corner here, um, so we've done this one. We go from here to here, here to here. And this um, goes to show how handy it is having a pen and paper when you're doing an exam, because being able to draw it out um, and try writing it out with some test um, coordinates really helps you identify what the pattern is. Um, so let's say that that's um, 780, 760, 740, etc. Alright, so let's come up with some code. Um, so let's go our first line. Our first line is at 780 across the x-axis. Um, and I'm talking about this line here, this point. 780 on the x-axis and 0 on the y. Um, and then its corresponding boy, point, it goes across here. Um, it's not lining up quite well. Um, but we'll say that it's 0 on the x and about 20 on the y. We have a look at our next point here. It's gone across on the x-axis, so now it's at 760. Um, it's y is 0. And then the corresponding point here. Whoa, that's way too far down. That should be up here. Um, we've got 40. Oh, no, we don't. Our x is 0. That's what happens when you rush. Our x is 0 and our y is 40. Um, and then we've got this here. Okay, so um, we want to have a look at our patterns again. So we can see that um, our first y coordinate and our second x coordinate are both zero all the time. Um, so those two values are the same each time. Um, and here we've got something a little bit different, which might be a bit tricky. Um, for our first x coordinate, it is decreasing by 20 each time. Um, and then in our fourth y coordinate, or sorry, our second y coordinate, it's increasing by 20 each time, um, or increasing by whatever value we have it. So, um, we need to find another way of representing that first x coordinate here. Um, and if we have a look at what we're doing, is we're starting at the very, at the width, and every time we're minusing 20 each time from the width. So 780 can actually be represented as width minus 20. Um, 760 can be re represented as width minus 40. So if I replace those here, width minus 20, width minus 40. Um, so now we've got these 
each match up. Um, so we can use this same loop here. So for this line, we've got our first coordinate is the width minus our i value, our y is zero, next x is zero, and there we go, that works pretty well. Um, so we've done that one there, let's have a look at the next. Hopefully I can do this one a little bit neater than the others that just did not match up in the slightest. Okay, so let's do the top right corner now. Um, I want to do it without coordinates and then I'll write the coordinates on. So from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, definitely not the scale again, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's shocking, but we get the idea. Um, okay, so again, we're going to do the same thing. So we've got this point here is 20, 0. Corresponding point is um, the full width here. So I'm going to write W. Um, and our Y is 20. We have a look at our second line here. We've got 40, 0. And the corresponding point here is at the full width and 40. Um, so I'm not going to do that third line here. We can already see um, the pattern coming up here. It's very similar again. Um, we've got our first y coordinate will always be zero, and our first, oh, sorry, our second x coordinate will always be the width. And then again, we've got our um, 20, 40, 60 for our other two coordinates. So this first one would be the value of i. And we've got zero, width, and then i again. We want to double check. Perfect. Um, so just one more corner to go. Um, so we'll go here to here. Here to here, to here, here to here. Ugh, it's a little better. Um, so let's do our points again. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, and here if we're starting from... This is 800 down here. Um, so we'll say this is 780, 760, 740, 720 again. Okay, uh, so once again, we've got this point here, or this first line. Um, the width, or sorry, the x coordinate is the width, um, and the y is 20, and the corresponding point here. Um, X is 780 and the Y is the full height. We have a look at our next one here. We've got X is the width and Y is 40. And the corresponding point, we've got the X is 760 and the Y is the full height. Um, so I'm just going to stop at 2 again this time. So let's look at what's similar. So um, our first x and our second y um, are width and height respectively. So they're always the same. Um, and then we've got a similar situation to that second line um, where we can represent this coordinate here. 780 is the same as uh, the width minus 20. And 760 is the same as 
the width minus 40. So now we've got our same values here. Cool, all right, so fingers crossed our next line works. So we've got width, um, and that value here is represented by our i. We've got bits minus i, we've got height. And if we have a look here, perfect. Looks pretty cool. It's a bit brighter, maybe because I did stroke weight as two. Let's try stroke weight one. Yeah, that's a bit better. Awesome. Um, so if you adjust these values here, um, those lines will either get closer together or further away. And because we wrote them in terms of width and height, um, we've made it scalable as well. So, oops. Can make a tiny one. Um, oh, maybe not that big. There we go, that's cool. Yeah, so um, the question does look quite tricky, but once you see the pattern, um, drawing it out on a piece of paper really helps. Um, once you see the pattern, it's actually really easy to achieve and also it looks pretty cool. So um, good question to show off with.